بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about column of Bertin and how to diagnose it and how to see it in ultrasound mainly in this mini talk. Kulum it is high about if it is high about two fight appears a septal cortex that protrude in the renal sinus, usually between the above and middle calyxes. Same, it has same enhancement characteristics and echogenicity as renal cortex, and it is can be confirmed with Doppler ultrasound and ultrasound contrast enhanced material. The sonographic signs of hypertrophied of column of Bertin are characteristic and the only pos the possible pitfall is parapelvic cyst or sometimes it is confused with renal mast. We, we, I will discuss this in another talk how to differentiate between column of Bertin and renal mass. Careful analysis of echogenicity of such cyst or renal mass as acoustic enhancement in cases of renal cyst will help to differentiate it from hypertrophied column of Bertin. The renal column of Bertin is a medullary extension of renal pyramids. As we see here, this is the upper ball and the lower ball kidney, and we see isoequic mass lesion, mass-like lesion, the same as the cortex, and this is hypertrophied column of Bertin between the above and middle calicial group. Here, this is another patient. We see hypertrophied column of Bertin here with some indentation on the renal sinus and has the same echogenicity of the renal cortex. Another patient, and we have the hypertrophied of column of Bertin has the same echogenicity of renal cortex. And here, it is splitting the renal sinus into two and should not be confused with duplex system or bifid system. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.